Hey there, anime enthusiasts! Welcome to Anime Lore Unveiled, your one-stop shop for all things anime. We are thrilled to have you join us today as we embark on another journey into the fascinating world of One Piece. Before we jump in, make sure to comment below, share your thoughts, and engage with us. We love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe and chidori that like button to show your support. Stay tuned till the end of the video for some amazing insights. Now, let's dive into the world of Armament Hockey, a power that has shaped the battles in the One Piece universe. Ready? Let's get started. Ever wondered how Armament Hockey can turn the tide of any battle in One Piece? Welcome to an adventure into the mystical world of one of the most intriguing abilities in the One Piece universe. Armament Hockey. This is not just any power. It's a game changer, a tide turner, an invisible armor that can harden the body and weapons, making them incredibly strong. This power is the embodiment of resilience, of sheer willpower, and of an unyielding spirit. It's the power that separates ordinary fighters from the formidable ones, the power that has shaped the battlegrounds of the Grand Line and the New World. From the fiery battles of Monkey D. Luffy to the sword fights of Roranoa Zoro, Armament Hockey has been a cornerstone of their victories. It's an integral part of the One Piece world and it's what we'll be exploring today. So, let's delve deeper into this mysterious power and its wielders. Armament Hockey, known as Busoshoku Hockey, is no ordinary power. It's a mysterious force that resides within every living creature, yet only a few have the ability to awaken it. This invisible power, once awakened, provides the user with a sort of armor that can harden the body, making it impervious to attacks. But that's not all. This armor isn't just for defense, it's a formidable offensive tool as well. Imagine having the ability to hit harder than ever before, to make your punches, kicks, or even your weapons land with an impact that's beyond the ordinary. That's what Armament Hockey offers. It enhances the attack power of its users, making their blows incredibly strong and potent. It's like adding a layer of high-powered energy to your attacks, making them capable of damaging even the toughest enemies. But what makes Armament Hockey truly remarkable is its ability to combat the powers of Devil Fruit users. In the world of One Piece, Devil Fruit users, with their range of supernatural abilities, often seem invincible. But Armament Hockey levels the playing field. It allows its users to hit the substantial body of a Devil Fruit user, enabling them to inflict real damage even if the Devil Fruit power involves intangibility or transformation. In essence, Armament Hockey is a game-changer. It breaks the rules, shatters the norms, and brings a new dimension to the battles in the One Piece universe. It's not just about raw strength or speed. It's about the power that lies within, waiting to be awakened. Now that we understand what Armament Hockey is, let's look at its types. Because yes, even within this extraordinary power, there are variations and nuances that make it all the more fascinating. So, stick around as we delve deeper into the world of Armament Hockey. Armament. Hockey is not a one-size-fits-all power. It contains nuances that separate the good from the great, the skilled from the masters. One of the key distinctions lies in its two main types, hardening and emission. Let's start with hardening, a visually striking form of armament hockey. It's often seen as a black coating on the user's body or weapon, a manifestation of their willpower turned into armor. This form of hockey not only provides a robust defense against physical and elemental attacks, but it also amplifies the user's offensive capabilities, turning each blow into a powerhouse punch or a devastating sword slash. Iconic characters like Monkey D. Luffy and Roranoa Zoro often utilize hardening to tip the scales in their favor during intense battles. Now, on to emission, a more subtle yet equally impressive form of armament hockey. This is where the user extends their willpower beyond their body, creating a shockwave or a barrier that can repel attacks or hit an opponent from a distance. It's a long-range form of hockey that can catch enemies off-guard, opening up strategic possibilities on the battlefield. Remember when Luffy first used a mission against the Boa sisters, that was a game-changer. However, it's important to note that these two types are not mutually exclusive. The most skilled hockey users can seamlessly switch between hardening and a mission, adapting to the demands of the battle. It's this flexibility, this mastery of techniques, that truly showcases the power of armament hockey. With these two types, Armament Hockey is a formidable tool in any fight. It's a testament to the user's willpower, determination, and tactical prowess. Whether you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a powerful foe or defending against a barrage of attacks, Armament Hockey is your best bet for survival. 
So next time you witness a clash of wills in the world of One Piece, take a moment to appreciate the intricacies of armament hockey. It's more than just a power, it's an art form. Many iconic characters have mastered the use of armament hockey. Let's delve into the journeys of a few of these powerhouses who have left their mark on the One Piece universe. First off, we have the captain of the Straw Hat Pirates, Monkey D. Luffy. His mastery of armament hockey has been pivotal in his battles, turning the tide in his favor when all seemed lost. From his thrilling showdown with Don Quixote do Flamingo, to his high-stakes clashes with Kaido, armament hockey has always been his ace in the hole. Next we have Roronoa Zoro, the swordsman of the Straw Hat crew. Zoro's use of armament hockey and his swordsmanship has made his attacks devastatingly powerful. His dedication to his craft is exemplified in his battle with Pika, where Zoro's hacky infused swords slice through the enemy's stone body like butter, showcasing the true potential of armament hockey. Then there's Silver's Rayleigh, the former right-hand man of the Pirate King, Goldie Roger. Rayleigh's mastery of armament, hockey stands as a testament to his legendary status. His demonstration of this power when he first met Luffy left a lasting impression laying the foundation for Luffy's own journey into the world of hockey. And let's not forget the Yonko, Big Mom, and Kaido, whose use of advanced armament hockey has put them at the pinnacle of power in the pirate world, demonstrating just how integral this ability is to achieving the highest levels of strength. Lastly, we have Admiral Sakazuki, better known as Akainu. His use of armament hockey combined with his Logia Devil fruit power makes him a formidable force to be reckoned with demonstrating the incredible versatility of this power. As we can see, armament hockey has been crucial in defining some of the most epic moments in One Piece. Its mastery has not only granted these characters immense power but also shaped their destinies in this grand adventure. Mastering Armament Hockey is no small feat, it's not something you can simply wake up one day and decide to do. It requires dedication, perseverance, and a strong will. It's a journey of mental and physical exertion pushing oneself to the limits and beyond. Let's take Monkey D. Luffy for example. He spent two long years under the tutelage of Silver's Rayleigh, the Dark King and former first mate of the Pirate King, Gold D. Roger. In this time, Luffy honed his hockey skills, focusing not only on armament hockey, but also observation and conqueror's hockey. This training was far from easy. It was a grueling test of endurance that pushed Luffy to his absolute limits. Armament hockey is not just about strength, but also about control and precision. It's about knowing when to use it, how much to use, and how to adapt it in different combat situations. This level of mastery can only come with practice, experience, and a deep understanding of one's own capabilities. You see, armament hockey is not just a weapon to be wielded. It's a tool for survival, a shield against threats, and a key to unlocking one's true potential. It's a testament to a warrior spirit, a reflection of their will to overcome any obstacle. So, mastering armament hockey requires intense training and discipline. Armament hockey has significantly shifted the power dynamics in the One Piece universe. This form of hockey has not only leveled the playing field but also created new, unexpected hierarchies among characters. In the pre-hockey era, battles were largely dependent on physical prowess, and the unpredictable abilities of Devil Fruits. However, with the introduction of Armament Hockey, even the most formidable Devil Fruit powers can be neutralized. This has changed the way battles are fought, making them more strategic and less reliant on raw power alone. For instance, characters with strong Armament Hockey can now go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Logia-type Devil Fruit users, who were once considered invincible. This has led to more intense and unpredictable fights, where the outcome is not decided by power alone, but by the clever use of hockey. Moreover, armament hockey has also given non-devil fruit users a fighting chance against those with these supernatural abilities. This has resulted in a more balanced power dynamic where strategy, skill, and the mastery of hockey can overcome sheer brute force. In essence, armament hockey has democratized power in the One Piece universe. It's no longer about who has the most powerful devil fruit, but about who can best use their hockey to outmaneuver their opponents. Undoubtedly, armament hockey has revolutionized the way battles are fought in one piece. So what have we learned about armament hockey? It's an extraordinary power that creates an invisible armor, enhancing the user's strength and defense. We've seen its two main forms, hardening and emission, used to devastating effect by iconic characters like Luffy, Zoro, and Rayleigh. 
We've also discovered that mastering this power requires intense training, discipline, and a deep understanding of one's own abilities. It's not just about physical strength, but mental fortitude as well. And let's not forget the game-changing impact armament hockey has on the power dynamics in the One Piece universe. It's a decisive factor in battles, particularly against formidable foes with devil fruit abilities. It's clear that armament hockey is a game changer, a true path to power for those who can master it. With that, we conclude our journey into the world of armament hockey. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of One Piece. As we wrap up our deep dive into armament hockey, we'd like to remind you to subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled. Smash that like button with a chidori and make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss out on our future explorations into the world of anime. So, keep the love coming and help us keep bringing you the content you love. Until next time, stay curious, stay animated.